everyone welcome to psychic moon tarot reading so today's reading is um general messages for you so if you're tuning if you are tuning in welcome welcome to my channel and you have three images to pick from uh to listen to your general messages uh, pile number one is this image which is a snake Pile number two is this image where it is an owl sitting on the top of a roof on a full moon night. Pile number three is a bear in a night sky. And the bear is on the clouds. Okay. Um, I will have the image of all these three inserted right here so you can uh, pause the video meditate on these images and see which is the pile that attracts your attention the most and that is probably your pile okay so take your time see which is the picture that attracts you and I will start the reading with pile number one so pile number one whoever have chosen this card okay this is your pile and let's find out what do you need to hear what are the messages that are supposed to come out in this reading for you messages for pile number one what do you need to know what is your energy what is your current energy pile number one and what is the guidance for you File number one, what is the current energy? Current energy for file number one. File number one, I see that um, you are putting a lot of effort into something, okay? And you have probably uh, in a loop of creating this thing over and over again but you still haven't yet achieved the perfection in this path or you haven't yet achieved that level of um, polish that you uh, want to achieve in this task this could be anything this could be a specific craft that you practice this could be a specific hobby that you want to achieve perfection in or for some of you it could be your general work area where you are trying to create something in your workspace uh, you're trying to work on a certain project and although you're putting a lot of effort you're putting a lot of time in it you're not able to finish it you're not able to complete it and you know that you have to do all the work by yourself i don't see any help okay so the pressure is on you you are uh, in charge of this stuff you are in charge of this work or project whatever is it what whatever it is and you are expected to do what all it requires to finish or to reach that level of perfection is this is the current energy that I'm seeing you in so your energy is definitely involved very deeply and very very um, You know, it is very uh, determined to achieve a certain result and you don't mind working hard for it. Where is it headed? Where is it headed? Where are you moving next? What can you expect from this? I see that you are going to receive, you are going to reach where you want to be. You are attaining the goal that you have set for yourself. You are, for some of you, I see that you are going to receive a very clear idea about how to approach this. Okay. If you have been um, working on a certain path, if you have been, uh, your approach has been a certain way, I see that you're going to get some kind of a clarity. Somebody is going to give you an idea or there's going to be a spark of idea or you are going to have some kind of a clarity 
about what is the right way of approaching it how better can you manage this work how better can you approach it so that you can reach your goal that is what i see uh, you reaching towards what's next And yes, you are going to feel very happy and proud of it. I see that the current struggle stage is just for the time being. Okay, this is just uh, very temporary. This energy that you're in of constant um, of being uh, involved in this work process uh, for long hours, working for long hours or hitting the head against your uh, hitting your head, head against the wall like over and over again, trying to reach to a certain point work wise. I see that this is just the matter of time. It's just about probably a week from now that you are going to enjoy a vacation time because you are um, attaining the goal. You are reaching that milestone that you have been aiming for. Okay, so I see that your work, uh, the, your efforts is going to reap you the results that you are going to uh, aim for. So if you have set some goals for you, if you have set a specific goal, okay, some of you are working specifically towards a goal. For some, it could be as simple as working on a diet plan, okay working on a diet plan to reduce weight working on a diet plan to get to a better health and you are working around it you are working uh you know you are on a hit on an on a hit and trial uh method you are on a hit and trial uh route okay you're trying many things you're seeing what works for you you're seeing what doesn't work for you you are not um, someone who is going to step back from where you are right now because you're determined to um, get to where you have set your goal at, okay? And I see that you will, by this hit and trial, you will hit the jackpot. You will hit the right note. You will hit the right um, proportion of what uh, suits your diet or the, you will hit the right... Um, sources of food that works for you in reducing your weight okay this is just an example it could be many different scenarios for some it could be figuring out um what material sources you need to what biblical resources you need to look at to write a certain paper okay if you're writing a paper if you're writing a research paper or something you were trying a, a lot of different things you will get to know what is the right set of uh, biblical sources resources that you should look upon to get what you are trying to dig in okay and after you do that after you spend a lot of time doing this i see that you are finally getting the results that you have set and you are going to enjoy your time with your loved ones you are going to enjoy your time with yourself, with your loved ones. Probably some of you are going uh, for a vacation to, to you know, um, you know, recharge yourself or to um, reward yourself for the efforts that you have put in, honest efforts that you have put in without fail. Okay, you are rewarding yourself in some way that uh, recharges your soul, that recharges your energy okay um what else do you need to know is there any advice from spirit is there any advice from spirit coming in for you in this situation group number one what is the advice from spirit king of wands Shine your inner candlelight, bring enough for others to follow. I see that you are setting uh, a source of inspiration for others. The path that you're on is going to inspire a lot of people. It is going to create a path for others to follow you. Okay, this is something big. It is something that is going to give you a lot of recognition. It is going to give you a lot of fame. Okay, it's going to give you a lot of popularity. 
your light is going to shine bright people are going to notice uh, the amount of work that you've put in for example sticking to the example that i gave prior to this uh, you know finding the correct diet i see that you have worked upon this diet it has worked out for you and um, the results are for people to notice you know what uh, what you have what the efforts that you have put on yourself is very very noticeable to others people are looking at you and you know getting inspired oh my god how much how, how could you lose so much of weight so quickly i'm so inspired by you i'm going to do what you did tell me what you did okay so that is the kind of energy that i see you are going to inspire a lot of people your path is going to inspire a lot of people a lot of people are going to follow your path because they can see the results that you have gone for your uh, got for yourself through this route okay so that is the reading that i have for you group number one i hope this was helpful and if you related to this reading um thank you so much please let me know in the comment section if it related and i will see you in a new reading um in future okay don't forget to subscribe so that you get notified every time i post and let's move to group number two now so group number two whoever have chosen this card okay the owl sitting on the rooftop on a full moon night beautiful colorful image this is your pile and let's find out what messages do you need to hear okay what do you need to know what are your messages from spirit this is your reading this is a general reading so i don't have any specific topic for you group number two i'm connecting to your energy looking at the image and let's find out what you need to know what is your message for today group number two what is your message for today the emperor Wow. Group number two, to start the reading with, I see that you are in your own element. Okay. You are, um, you are in your true authentic element. You are in your power. You are in charge of your life. You are not um, controlled or um, manipulated by any outside uh and energies okay you are your life is fully in your control you know what you're doing and you have um the power to change the steering wheel of your life life as you may like okay this is your life and you t you are taking total control of your life this is the current energy that i'm seeing okay a lot of you have recognized that um, walking a certain path of spirituality gives you a lot of power. Okay, walking a certain path of it could be any path. It could be uh, following or worshipping a certain deity. It could be following a certain uh, religious belief. It could be uh, practicing yoga and meditation it could be any path but you have realized that following a certain spiritual path actually energizes you it gives you a lot of power it gives you a lot of energy it gives you a lot of confidence in yourself to move forward in your life and that is where you are at okay there is a lot of confidence in your energy okay you are not um someone who has fallen prey to self-judgment or self-criticism you love yourself and you look upon yourself with a lot of uh pride and a lot of respect you respect yourself you take pride in yourself you're proud of yourself you're proud of your achievements you look upon yourself with very very deep respect is what i'm trying to say here group number two you feel you're very royal you feel you're very noble and i see that you although you know you could have a lot of responsibilities it's not that you have a very free life you have a lot of responsibilities but in spite of having those responsibilities when you Take the time to follow that spiritual path that you're on. 
it gives you tremendous amount of strength and fuels your power okay um at times you may feel exhausted okay i see the ten of wands and i and i see that at times things may overwhelm you at times think may feel like this is a lot to for me to cover but the moment you are in sync with your spiritual self the moment you are in sync with yourself the moment you align yourself the moment you center yourself you feel a lot more energetic and you feel that you can overcome the biggest of tasks okay that is the current energy that i'm seeing here for you highly spiritual by group number two so that is the energy what is what's coming next what is uh what is what is that going to that is going to happen next what is coming your way what is it going to lead to ace of swords and knight of pentacles i see that Ace of Swords is giving me that uh, knowing, that clarity of what path you need to take. The clarity about your, uh, you know, your career path, your day-to-day -day responsibilities, uh, how to manage your finances. Overall, I see that your spiritual path is playing a very big role in grounding you. Okay, it's playing a huge role in grounding your energy, and as you ground your energy, you heal. Healing takes place as the moment you ground, start grounding, you start connecting with mother nature, you start connecting with mother energy, okay? As you start grounding, the negative energy gets rooted, you know, drains out through your body into the ground and you feel much more lighter, you recharge your energy, you feel much more positive and you feel that you can take up on your life with a lot of um, motivation, okay you feel much more responsible for your own self you feel much more responsible for your own life you take responsible slow but steady steps towards a better future and that is what is happening you know uh, the current energy that you're in you know probably you have this strong urge to follow a certain spiritual path uh, you could be uh, doing some japas or you could be doing some mantra chantings or something in spite of your busy schedule every single day and this could overwhelm you because you are busy and still you're finding the time to do this activity every single day okay uh you have kept a certain amount of time every single day probably 15 to 20 minutes every single day to sit and meditate because you know that when you do this, it is going to give you a lot of mental clarity. And that is what is happening, okay? This is uh, opening up your mental uh, cloudiness. It, you know, it's, it is clearing up the cloudiness in your head. What else can you manifest? What are you manifesting through this? I see, I sense a lot of strong manifesting energy. What are you trying to manifest through the spiritual path? you are manifesting financial freedom you're manifesting financial abundance you are manifesting independence you're manifesting um luxury you are manifesting that sense of power okay that you have in yourself you you don't want to depend on another for your luxury to feel luxury to feel uh, abundant you don't want to rely on anyone else you want to make it for yourself and you know that you're capable of doing it this could be about starting a new business that is purely yours it could be um, it could be re about realizing your self potential on a journey that you always wanted to follow for example you always wanted to be a solo traveler okay and you gain the power you gain the mental strength you gain the clarity of how to go about it and you set on on your set up uh, and you are set on your journey 
okay and as you do it you become so self-reliant you're not dependent on anyone you can travel solo all around the world okay and that is giving you tremendous amount of confidence so that is what you're manifesting okay this is your goal so group number two i definitely see you uh reaching to a level that you are slowly but steadily moving towards what you are uh trying to manifest what is the advice for you group number two if any what advice does spirit have for you group number two group number two what advice does spirit have for you an advice for you group number two queen of wands replace your self-doubt with self-confidence okay do not doubt your potential you know that you have the spark you know that you can do it because you have taken charge of your life you have taken control of your uh, decisions you are in charge of your life you know affirm this say that to yourself look at yourself in the mirror in your eyes okay every morning as you brush your teeth do that practice that look at yourself in the, in your eyes in the mirror and say that i'm enough i'm confident i know what i'm doing and i know that what i'm doing is leading me to manifest my wildest desires my wildest dreams i am confident i'm in charge of my life i am in my full power say that to yourself affirm every single day and see what magic it brings into your life okay embody the the feeling of queen of wands in your life the queen of wands is a very very powerful energy where you know it's the power of shakti it is the power the queen of wands is the power of that feminine uh super attractive energy where you can manifest pull in anything that you want in your life okay that is the power of this queen of wands okay so that is your advice group number two very powerful you are on a very powerful and meaningful spiritual journey please go ahead and uh, continue what you're doing because this is going to lead to a huge huge feeling of um, self-reliance and independence okay so that was your reading group number two i hope this was helpful and if it was don't forget to hit the like button and also if you're new to my channel uh, welcome join the community subscribe to my channel and i will see you in another reading very soon okay till then uh take care bye bye i love you and let's move to group number three so group number three whoever have chosen this card okay let's find out what is the message for you what general messages come out for you what is your current energy first let me see group number three what is your current energy what is the current energy that you're in group number three three of swords okay group number three i see i feel that you are uh, going through an emotional turmoil Okay, this is um, about going through an emotional turmoil because you've had a fight or a disagreement with someone you love, uh, someone who is very dear to you, someone who means a lot to you. Uh, this could be uh, your sister, your brother or a family member. You know, it could also be uh, a spouse, a, your daughter, your son. Someone has hurt you. Okay, someone has... Um, hurt your feelings and that is the current energy that i see you know you are craving to see rainbow in this stormy cloudy phase of your life but you're not able to see the rainbow but worry not because i definitely see the rainbow is going to shine very soon in your life um this is just a phase okay you're just going through a phase it's better if you feel heavy it's better to just cry it out okay uh, it's okay to cry do not stop yourself from releasing that stuck energy because when you cry you release a lot of heavy energy and you instantly feel relieved you have to bring it out you have to let it go you have to release what is trapped in to 
to start healing. In order to start healing, you have to cut out the wound. Okay. So group number three, this is a difficult phase. Um, three of swords and ten of cups together is telling me that you are craving uh, togetherness. You are craving those happy moments. You're thinking of nostalgic happy moments with this person or your family and you're missing them there's a lot of missing happening because you know you um you went through a certain disagreement the five of wands energy is telling me that you had a disagreement with a group of people this energy is not about just one person okay for most of you it could be about a disagreement where you have a conflict with two or more people okay you had a conflict with two or more people in your family maybe you fought with your parents or you fought with your siblings okay and you are hurt you feel bad about it you feel guilty about it and you really hope and pray things to get better but um this is what it is this is um you need to let go of what has happened so that's the current energy group number two so where is it headed what can you expect next? Where is it headed? What is that? Can you, what is it that can you ex that you can expect next? What's happening next? Oh, so as I said, this is a very temporary. I see the lovers card, and it tells me that whatever is going on is going to harmonize very beautifully. Things are coming into harmony. You are going to patch up. You are going to make things clear. Uh, you are going to talk it out. You're going to express your emotions. Um, say what went wrong. Probably apologize. And you know, you are getting things back to normal. But the choice is yours. Okay. You always have a choice. So throughout our lives, we always have a choice to deal in a certain situation. So the current situation is that you made, uh, you are in a difficult conflict where uh, things went wrong in a, in, a, in a discussion or an argument. You had an argument, you had a mismatch of opinions and things are better now. But the choice is yours to go up to them and apologize or um, the choice is yours. You need to see what is more important. Is your ego more important? Or the relationship is more important do you want to lose them just because you don't want to say sorry or you are ready to say sorry apologize and move on and uh, protect the connection that you have okay so the choice is yours so I see a reconciliation I see a harmony but the choice is yours so I see that uh, you need to make a step to move forward and uh, make things better the star if you are hoping for things to get okay on its own it's not okay you need to take action because i see that the lovers card and the star cards are coming together and that is telling me that Hoping alone will not help. You need to take a step, move forward, meet this person, have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And only then I see things are getting into harmony. Things are getting into the right direction. Because if you hold on to these grudges, I don't see things are going in the right direction. Okay, group number three. So you need to weigh your relationship. Where do you see it going? Do you really miss this person? Do you really want this person? Or you, do you really uh, want to have this these group of people in your life? Do they mean a lot to you? How deeply do they mean? Uh, if given a choice, would you go up to them and uh, say sorry or apologize or at least make some effort to, make, uh, to lighten up the situation? Okay, would you do? I see whatever step it is, I definitely see see you taking a step so without taking a step on its own nothing is going to go in the positive direction here so what's the advice for you here group number three what's the advice what do you need to do 
What's the advice for group number two? What's the advice? What do you need to do? Six of Cups. Give yourself the compassion you were never given. Okay. I see that your advice is to go up to them and show some kind of compassion. Okay. Uh, do something sweet. Uh, give them something sweet. Give them something that they like. Probably give them some flowers. Send them some flowers and a note. Uh, probably call them and say something sweet. So you need to take action towards these people that you have had a difficult uh, time with, had a conflict with and try to mend things on your own. Okay, there is a lot of compassion involved here. So the word compassion keeps coming over again and again. Let me pick up my channeled messages and see uh, if there is anything that you need to know here. Group number three. A message for you so it's not about ego here okay group number three you need to see what is right what is wrong morally what do you want to support by the mid of the year okay so this is already the mid of the year so I see that this is the right time that uh, you need to take action towards this situation divine connection and i see hard work so there definitely is hard work it's not going to be easy to mend this connection but since it is a divine connection i see that your hard work will not go waste okay group number three so that was your reading i hope this was helpful and if it was let me know in the comment section and um sus subscribe to my channel if you're new uh, because I post uh, videos, readings like this very often and I would love to see you in my next reading. Thank you for your time and uh, take care. Bye bye.